Number 10. Among the solubility rules previously discussed is the statement, carbonates, phosphates, borates, and arsenates, except those of the ammonium ion and the alkali metals, they're all insoluble. So then we have letter B. Write the expression for the equilibrium constant for the reaction represented by the equation, and then we have this one. 3Ba2 plus plus 2PO4 3 minus aqueous will yield us barium phosphate Ba3PO4 2. And then a follow-up question is, is this Kc greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1, and explain. So first, let's work with the first part of the question. We need to write that equilibrium constant expression. It comes from a generalized formula of this, right? So I just like to say Kc equals products divided by reactants when I, you know, on a test or a quiz, I just say, okay, any K value products over reactants is just that simple. Now keep in mind that you will have to raise your numbers to the coefficients, but we will get there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the equation. I got three bariums, and that's a 2 plus aqueous. Now, normally when I do write an equation, if you guys have been me, been with me for a long time, right, you know how much I, I despise writing the states. <laughs> I always say, yeah, who cares about the states? But in this chapter, we care about them, unfortunately. So I'll, I'm writing the states out. So I got three... Uh, barium 3, and then phosphate 2. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean that up, Christina. Okay. And then let me just bring this over a little bit. I hope I don't bring over... That's okay. That's easily fixed. And then I just have to write the state here. Okay. Cool. Now we're ready to write the equation. Now it's products over reactants. Here's my products, and here's my reactants, right? Products is the right-hand side, reactants is the left-hand side. Now, before we do this, note always the states. What I do is I like to make a little check and an X to say who's allowed in here and who's not allowed. So the only states that are allowed to be in this equation are, so maybe I'll say allowed, aqueous, whoa, aqueous, AQ, and gases. No liquids and no solids. So if I work from these states from left to right, you're an aqueous, you're allowed. You're aqueous, you're allowed to be in the KC, but uh-oh, you're a solid, you're not allowed. So I'm putting an X here. And I color-coded this for you guys. Blues are reactants, products are red, all right? So now I'm ready to write my KC. I got KC equals something over something else. So I'll make that division. And now products over reactants. But from what we just said, we're not allowed to put this guy in there. So I need just like a placeholder, right? Nothing else is going to be on the top. So if you do need a placeholder, you use the number one. So it's going to be a one on the top. Now I come over to my products. Both of these are allowed to be in the KC. So I got to put brackets. Brackets means that it's, we're talking about molarity. And I just work from left to right. So I'm going to say that I have the barium, 2 plus. I'll close the bracket. And now I have another reactant. So it's being multiplied, but you could just put the two brackets together. That means multiplication. And then you have the PO4, 3 minus. Close that bracket. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And now for one last thing. Both of them have to be raised to the coefficient, a.k.a. the big number in the front. So let's see here. In front of the barium, I did see that I have a 3 here. So that means if I just extend this out, and usually I will do this, once you get familiar with this formula, you'll do this at one single shot. So I will put a 3 as the coefficient for the barium. The barium, whatever number, we're going to be working with numbers soon, but it's raised to the third. And then I see a two in front of the phosphate. So the PO4, the phosphate, needs to be raised to the second. All right? And maybe if I just extend this line. There you go. Now maybe I'll just put that over there. That is the KC formula. So half of it done.
Perfect. Now, let me just move this over. Beautiful. Now let's answer the second part. Is that KC value, would it be less than 1? Or actually, would it be greater than 1, less than 1, or roughly around 1? Well, this goes back to what we got going on. Now notice that this barium phosphate is so insoluble, right? And this happens because of the solubility rules. It said that your phosphates are going to be insoluble except if it's ammonium and if it's an alkali metal. Remember that alkali metals, those are group one. Barium is group two. If you guys want to quickly look at your periodic tables, alkali metals are group one, barium's in group two, so it is not an exception. When you form an insoluble compound, that means that it's a precipitate, aka it's a solid. You're not going back. You're, you're being formed. It's going to be formed as a solid, and it's going to be very hard for this to go back to its ions. So with that in mind, do you think that you would have more solid than more reactant at equilibrium if it's very hard for this to go back to the reactants? Yeah, you're going to have way more of your solid than the ions. It might be like, you know, I don't know, let's just say it would be a thousand molecules of this for every 10 molecules of this. It's like an extreme, right? Just to kind of make the connection. But basically, you're going to have way more products. Whoop. And maybe I'll just put that, I'll just say more products. So you're going to have way more products at equilibrium because once you make the solid, you're not really going to break it up. So now, whoop, that goes to this. When you have more products at equilibrium, that KC value will be greater than 1. So just memorize what your KC value means, okay? In this case, we have more products at equilibrium, so the KC value would be greater than 1. And that's basically it. We would know that that KC value is greater than 1. Could be maybe 1,000, could be a million, could be a trillion. I mean, sometimes they can get really, really big numbers, all right? But just as far as we know for now, it's just got to be greater than 1. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're doing well. And keep studying hard. You guys got this. I'm rooting for you guys on your tests and quizzes. And I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.